and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Today Bob. Today we're going to show you a 10 step checklist to greatly improve your posture. By the way, we'll put this checklist down in the comments so oh, you can see it. Nice. It'll be ready for everybody. But by the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section because right this week we're giving away a sleep ovation mattress. That's right. It's got individual mattresses, 700, and it's also got these air channels that run through it. Keep you cool. And keep you cool. This is just a sample one. We're also giving away a couple of their pillows, oh, yes. which has springs in them. But you don't feel the springs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's amazing. Oh, sorry. You got you there, Brad. Well, I'm used to that, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tough. All right. You can also go to, if you want a little 60-second oh, oh, oh. version of our program, go to TikTok, Instagram, or Tw Twitter. 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 Yep. You can also find our contest on Facebook, by the way. Too. Oh, that's right. That, so. Pinned at the top. Yeah, pinned to the top. All right. Number one on the checklist. The first three, you're kind of checking to see where you're at. Posture-wise. Yeah, posture-wise. Posture-wise. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to check your forward head. How much of your forward head posture? A lot of people have kind of a forward uh, head posture. Yeah, right look here. at that. Hanging over nothing. We want to get the head yeah. over the shoulders. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up to a wall, and you're going to put your back up against the wall. Yep. Your low back, mid-back are touching. And then you're going to see how close you can get to the wall without tipping your head up like this. Right. You want so to it's... keep the chin level. Yeah, not right. this, but... Now, some of you may be able to go all the way back and touch already. Right. Excellent. Not that you do, still don't have to work on these because almost everybody has to work on these. I work on these all the time. So, but if you can't make it back, you might even measure. You might oh. take a ruler and measure how far you are. I don't know. How would you do this, Brad? Well, that's how I do it. Of course, you need a second person. Yeah, to so they can eyeball it. Get the profile view. And they'll measure. And I'll have patients do their exercises for a week and then come back and measure again and see what kind of progress. It's nice is. to see progress. That's right. All right. Another main fault that you'll see with posture is internal rotation of the shoulders. So that means this. Yep. Yep. They're turned like that. And you got that humped posture along with it. Yep. So all you're going to do, very easy to check. I want you to stand up straight, and I want to see where your hands are. I want to see where your palms are. Are they facing each other, or are they turned forward, turned toward the back because your shoulders are turning? If you look at your thumbs, too, the thumbs are pointing towards each other. We don't want that. Yeah, here, here's good. Here's bad. Yep. And if that's happening, we're going to have you work on external rotation of the shoulder mm -hmm. and strengthening those to help keep it in position. All right. We also want to check a big problem with a lot of people is a rounding out of the back, upper back right in here. Big, big problem. Mm -hmm. a, a lot of people have this. Yeah. So Hunch, one hunchback, some hunchback. people call it. And if it's, if it's really bad, what you might have to do is take a broomstick. Oh, we got the booyah stick here. And you want to see... If I'm 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 pretty bad and I can't straighten out any more of that, I'm only going to have one point of contact. Can, or can maybe you switch two. arms once, Bob? Sure. That, so he's talking about contact here go. at the back, mid back between the shoulder blades is one point, but then it needs to touch here at the belt line or the sacrum, and then the head too, and then we have good posture. Yeah, I'll show you good posture. Here's good posture. Yep. Now if you're rounded out a little bit. You're going to be like this, and I can't get back there. Or you might be like this. You have these two, but you can't put this one down. Right. So that's, again, will give you an indicator over time whether or not you're improving. Just exactly. Just take that broomstick yep. and check it out. All right. So the number one uh, for exercises now, which we're up to number four on the oh, checklist, yep. is just chin tucks. We, we knew that you had to do chin tucks even if you're – we're able to put your head all the way back. I still want you to do some chin tucks. Have we mentioned chin tucks in the past? <laughs> <laughs> Several million times. Yep. So it's probably the most mentioned exercise we've done. Yeah, you say? but it's it's for a good reason. So you're not going down, you're not going up, you're just going straight back. What's nice about these, easy to do throughout the day. Right. If you're serious about your posture, you got to work on it a lot. Yeah. I mean, most of these six to eight times a day. You can do these. this one driving safely. Yeah. Another one you can do throughout the day without equipment is just W's. 
So, Brad, you want to show these in the chair, too? You bet. So, I'm going to go ahead. Is, is for Wisconsin, right? Yeah, yeah. Just, just wanted to point that out. Minnesota's playing Wisconsin, by the way, in, in football, right? Oh, NBA, that's right. NFL. Yeah, well, we'll check it out. Yeah. No fans. <laughs> It'll be interesting. So, you're tightening up. You're, what's nice about this, you're actually going into external rotation a little bit. So if you have trouble with internal rotation of the shoulder, you're getting some of that. Yeah. But you're also squeezing the shoulder blades together. So just real easy to do. Yeah. You can do it wherever you're at. Just probably not driving unless you're. If you were going to do an M for Minnesota, it would be this, which wouldn't be good for <laughs> Pine. That's right. Or I like just this. wanted to bring that yeah, up. That's, that's a good point. So. All right, next one. Uh, we're a big fan of this. Uh, the inventor is actually in the building today. Mike, uh, uh, he came up with the ball on the chair. He should have received a patent for this or something. Yeah, he, yeah. So you, you take a squishy ball, not, not a, like a basketball does not work, Some, something that's soft. You could even use a Nerf if it's a firmer Nerf. And we're going to put that. Oh, you tried to do it. The, it almost did yeah. it. So you need a firmer chair. Upright chair works really good. Uh, you're not going to do it on a sofa or a, a, you know easy chair and you put it where it feels good between the shoulder blades and again you can do the the w yeah. the w or you can go back or the bob's alleluia oh, stretch you can go around the neck yep i like this one it really makes my neck feel better and supported well i'd say do that and then open up oh oh yeah yeah, yeah there we go then we stretch the chest because the chest is a lot of times very tight on people with poor posture, so we're starting to stretch that out too. I'm losing my head here, Bob. They won't be able to hear me talk. What's nice about the ball is you can use it, like some people can do this stretch over a chair. Yeah. The chair is low enough, yeah. the back. But the, with the ball, you can do it on any chair. Right. Uh, any firm chair. So I used to have an office chair that actually worked good. I didn't need the ball. It just hit me right in the yeah, right spot. I, I've had chairs like that, too. you got to be careful so you don't tip the chair over. I've had that almost happen once. Now, if you really want to work on that upper back, why don't you come on over here, Brad, oh, if you wouldn't mind? Yeah. If you really want to work on this area here, you got to get some aggressive stretching in Ooh. there, individualized section stretch. Yep. So I am actually get, took two tennis balls here. You could also use maybe just one. And you're gonna you're gonna either lie on it or mm. lie, lay against it uh, um, on the wall. Would it be lay against it on the wall? I don't know, but we just had someone comment this morning on that. <laughs> well, I, I did the first one right. I know that. So anyway, you can hit different spots along in the uh, upper mid back here. And wh what you're gonna do is just what's nice. Well, if you have a sock, yeah, you can position it easy. You can position easy. Yep. And. For those of you who have never done this before, you may want to start on the wall because it's pretty aggressive yep. when you do it on the floor. Yes. And you can just start doing like this, a chin tuck and stretch up against it and then hit different spots. It works out really good, especially. I, I even actually like to do a little rolling. Oh, yeah. It feels yeah, good yeah, on those absolutely. muscles. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And it's stretching. Yeah. You I've know. had a lot of patients been very grateful that I showed them this and they said, it's such an easy thing to do and I do it at home and. Life is good. Yeah, and uh, I actually would recommend just bolt one ball. Sometimes people put one ball on each side right. of yeah. the spine. You, and you get to learn down. what works best for you. All right, next one, number eight. We're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna skip to this one, actually, Brad. Oh yeah. You want to change your seated posture. Ah. So if you're in a car, you're in a, on a couch or in the office, you gotta make sure that you have some back support. Yeah. So in the car, it might be there already. Some people don't even realize they got lumbar support in their car. Right. There might be a little knob in there. Exactly. But for those of you who don't or they're in a chair, you're going to want to fill in this gap here, fill yep. in this arch. Now, this is too much, <laughs> wouldn't you say, Brad? Yeah, especially for me. I, I, I don't tolerate much. But right. in my car, it's an electric one. I can adjust it where it feels just right. And that's the key. When, when you find it feels like really good support, it's where it needs to be. Well, what we recommend is you actually start with a roll towel. Yeah. And right. that way you can make it any size you want. You can use different sizes and figure out which size feels the best for you. Right. Once you find a size that fits pretty good, then you can look online and find something sure. that's fairly similar. Now, the, what we have found generally the rule of thumb is if you're a, a smaller, slighter person mm -hmm. uh, with less curves like Brad, yeah. um, you, you're going to need less support. Right. And if you're a larger person with maybe ample buttocks and a, a decent curve in there, you might 
Yeah, you might get up to this, or sure. if you're on a couch too. Right. So you know, on my recliner, I just use a throw pillow because it's so the, the recliner is so squishy, and that actually works out fairly well. I, me, I so. do the same thing. I, I just put a throw pillow. Anytime I, anytime I at somebody's house, I'm looking for a throw pillow. <laughs> at, uh, you you know. don't take it home. No, no, I, yeah, I'm not that, gotta, that bad of a guess. You got to draw the line somewhere. Yeah. All right, number nine, the new number nine is walking posture. Oh yeah. So I want you to make sure you do a chin tuck first when you're going to walk. And then a lot of times, grab the arms like this and give yourself a little stretch and then let go in that position that you're in. That's the position you want to walk in. You don't want to be walking like this. Oh, no. So do a chin tuck, pull the arms, and walk. It makes you look 10 years younger, too, when you yeah, walk Absolutely. People posture. are going to say, well, who's that young person that came yeah, into our neighborhood? Yeah, it looks like uh, a new younger person in the neighborhood, and it was just Brad <laughs> yeah. standing up. Okay, number 10 is going to involve a little bit of equipment. Um, you want to have some exercise bands. Now, we actually are going to recommend ours <laughs> uh, because we just came out with some. But uh, we actually recommend you use them with the wall anchor because this works so well. It does. And you can work it on different levels. And we're gonna, Brad's going to go ahead and demonstrate here. So we just easily put it on there. And now, Bob's going to show on my shoulders a critical part of Doing these properly for good posture. Yeah, look, at, he, first of all, he's, he's in good posture. That, and that's the most important thing. And then he, he's going ahead, he's squeezing the shoulder blades together. He's working all these muscles here that are going to help keep the scapula, the shoulder blades in place when you're uh, standing or sitting or doing whatever activities you are during the day. So it really keeps you honest. But what's nice about this with the wall anchor, you get, well, if you buy them from our website, you actually get four of them. And so you can put them at, you know, one at a higher level, middle level, uh, lower level. And it's just easy to move these. Yeah. This is set up for Bob. I, right. I can't reach. If it was me, this one would be down a little bit. So, but either way, the, then we do the same thing and we get different fibers. We get the right. lower traps and we're the same motion as that I'm doing. And I do these three times a week. I probably should do them five times a week, but I'm running out of time to fit all my exercises right. in and, and still live. Um, but anyways, it's a nice change. I've always said, Brad, that I, I think if there's any one reason to buy this, it would just be for posture alone. Yeah. I mean, because it's really hard to kind of simulate that. I mean, you can. Yeah. Uh, but, and also, I mean, you do a myriad of exercises with it. Um, My finger's stuck, Bob. I got it. <laughs> okay. But, you know, one thing that, and then you can do them from lower level. And right. I forgot to mention one thing if I've got time. And you're going to do 10 to 15 of these. With these postural exercises, you can go up to 20 or more. But the W's. Oh, sure. I yeah, like doing yeah. This. That's the ones I've been doing. I don't know if you mentioned, Bob, but I'm particularly fond of W's. Yeah, okay. But what's nice about this, I mean, what's true about this is you got to use not too much of a band on this. Yeah. I mean, I, it, I, yeah. it really works your posture. I, yeah. I, I discovered that one too, Brad. That's the one to, to check out. Because that one works out really bad. Okay. Remember, Brad and I can fix it without anything? Except for... A broken heart. A broken heart. But I think posture is in line. We're going to put that chapter in the I'll book. I'll tell you right now, if the Packers beat the Vikings, I'm going to have a broken heart. So. Ah, ah, All right. That'd be...